Good morning, I'm Bill with The Boathouse in Port Charlotte. Today we're gonna go over how to properly get your boat ready to trailer to the ramp. First thing you wanna do when you're at home is get everything on board the boat that you can. So your coolers, your towels, your gear, get everything stowed properly so it does not blow out of the boat so that way you're not taking up time at the ramp. Once you get that all done, then we make sure everything's secured for the boat to the trailer. So first you need transom straps. Get everything hooked up, secured, latch down. On this particular boat, we've got two on the transom and one at the bow. So here we're wrapping up the second one on the transom. And then we'll get the one at the bow. On the pontoons, I like to secure the bow down so these trailers like to, to flex and bounce a little bit. So that way, it just keeps everything safe and secure. And once you do that, make sure your winch strap is secured. Now you're good to get the boat hooked up to the truck and take off. One thing to remember that's extremely important too while trailering is to make sure your engine is at the right position. Right now this is too low and you could possibly do skeg damage while trailering. So trim the engine up. Common mistake a lot of people do is they go too high. Use that lock as a support. That lock is not meant for trailering, that's only meant for service. So make sure you do not use that in this particular situation. Engine position right there should be good to get us down to the ramp. Okay, now that we're at the ramp, it's time to do the reverse of what we did back at home. Any gear you have left in the truck, it's time to get that in the boat. Time to get everything unhooked. So first we'll take a little tension off the winch strap. Release our front tie down. Now we go to the back of the boat, remove the straps from the back. Undo the Velcro, pull up, loosen up. Do the same on this side. Make sure your engine's in a good position to back into the water. If you had a traditional style boat, this is where you make sure the plug's in your boat. This is a pontoon, no plug, so we're good with that. At this time also, you want to check your ramp. See what side of the ramp you're going to be backing the boat down to. On a pontoon, I like to pull onto the port side because that's where the boarding door is. Can't always do that, just depends on your opening. So I found out where we're gonna back down. I've got my line set up already. So now we're ready to back into the water. Now that we have the boat partially in the water, I'm gonna climb in, get the bow strap unhooked, make sure we're okay, get the engine started, and that way I can back the boat the rest of the way down the trailer and take it off to the floating dock that we have adjacent to us. Okay, now we've got the engine running. Of course, I'm doing this single-handedly, so this is a little bit different. So I'm gonna back us down, get us farther into the water, get back into the boat, put it in reverse, drive it off, take it over to the dock. Now that we're off the trailer, I'm gonna take it over to the floating dock so that we're out of the way, get it quick tied up, get back to the truck and trailer and get her parked. Okay, now that we've got the boat off the trailer, tied up over on the floating dock, time to go park the truck and go out and have a good day. Thank you for watching, and this is Bill at the Boathouse in Port Charlotte. Have a good day on the water.